USC improves to 5-2, and two, but it was a struggle. They end up winning by 10 after closing on a 7-0 run. Long Beach State was one possession away from tying this game with three minutes to go. A couple of heroes for SC. Derek Thornton, after missing the last game against Bakersfield with that sprained ankle, comes back, and he actually told you afterwards that he injured it again tonight. He tweaked it again, and that's what happens sometimes with sprained ankles. It's just kind of a reoccurring injury. A little tweak here, a little rub there, but he did such a good job, and he showed some toughness, too, because he said that the coaching staff wanted to kind of sit him down, but he saw that uh, Long Beach State was coming back, and he wanted to keep himself in the game. 13 points and six assists. He leads the team in assists. How about Nick Rakosovic? This guy had a great game, and especially in the second half, ends up with 19 and 13. Well, they do so much with him. Like, you see the slips out here. He's doing things in transition. He has ability to play one-on-one, -on -one, can shoot threes. I really think that this is one of the best teams in the pack, and they can really make a run come tournament time. And keep in mind that Long Beach was staying in the game with their offensive rebounds. Nick Rakosovic had 11 defensive rebounds for USC. That, that helped turn the tide in this game. Well, they weren't rebounding the ball well, and once they were able to rebound the ball, they were able to run the floor. SC was a little afraid that this might be a trap game because looking ahead at number five, Nevada, on Saturday, but give Long Beach State a lot of credit for staying in it. So now SC can turn all of its attention on the number five Wolfpack, and then TCU at Staples Center as SC starts to build its resume already in late November with an eye on March. For Richard Jefferson, I'm Jim Watson from downtown LA.